and welcome to a, another Farmer Nick YouTube video. Uh, this week it's finally kind of gotten nice outside, so we're going to do a tractor repair video. This is my John Deere 2030A. It's uh, about 40 years old. It's built in the late 60s, early 70s. It's a little bit older than me. It's uh, got a hydraulic transmission fluid leak, uh, so it's basically immobile at the moment. Old tractors like this, the hydraulic and transmission lines were all part of the same system. Newer tractors, the hydraulics and the transmission are separated, so if you blow a hydraulic, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean you can't drive off. And uh, unfortunately at the moment, we're not going anywhere because we're leaking transmission fluid. So we'll see what's going on and uh, go from there. All right, this is where I'm leaking transmission fluid out of. It's coming out from underneath this cover here. So the first thing we're going to do is take this off and see what we can see from underneath there. All right, so as you can see, I've disassembled the cover and most of the gear shifts here. And it looks like I've got a crack right here, as you can see it. This is compared to the other one. You see that's just solid all the way around. So it looks like this piece of plastic is broken and that's where all the fluid spraying out from underneath. So if I remove this retain, retaining washer right there, I should be able to take everything out without having to completely dismantle this whole thing. So. We're going to give that a shot next. Alright, so I am here at the John Deere dealership. Got my part. We're going to go inside and uh, see how much this is going to cost me. Okay, so I'm out of the dealership. And it's going to be $12 for that little plastic ball. And I have to buy two though because that's how they come sold. So probably about 25 bucks. Um, and they don't have them in stock, so I'm going to have to wait a few days. So we'll pick up the video when uh, the parts come in. Alright, so we're at Tractor Supply, which amazingly does not supply a lot of tractor parts. And we're going to get uh, hydraulic transmission fluid and some degreaser and some silicone. Alright, so we're back out of Tractor Supply. got our hydraulic transmission fluid I'm about $82 lighter in the pocket right now but we're doing okay on a tractor repair honestly so we'll see when the parts get in and we'll take it from there all right catch you guys later hey everybody so I'm back here at John Deere dealership and I've got my parts uh, I had to buy two they only come as a package so $24 not too bad in the hole on this whole repair so I'll head back to the farm and we'll get to work on it hey everybody got a good day outside a perfect day to finish banging this thing out so let's get back at it okay so the one on the left that's the one with a big chunk missing out of it that's the old one and that big chunk what was causing me to leak hydraulic transmission fluid everywhere. Just old and cracked. And the one on the right is a shiny new one. So I'll pop that onto the uh, shift lever and we'll get back at it. Okay, so I have reassembled the shaft. And if you can remember, right here there was a hole. Um, when I was at John Deere, I was looking at schematics and there is no hole there. I'm assuming that some previous owner tried to rig something and drilled a hole there for maybe hooking up another piece of equipment or something and it didn't work out and left it there. So I siliconed that and then put a little bit of uh, liquid metal over the top to cap it shut. And as you can see, I've got the new shaft and the new ring in there. So that's all sealed up. We'll button it up, fire it up, and see if it's not going to leak.
All right, everything's looking good. Okay, so that's a basic tractor repair. Not a big job, only about $104 of parts, so I got off pretty easy with that. Most of that was in uh, refilling the transmission hydraulic fluid. This is basically all the other fun things I get to do besides going to the farmer's market. But we'll be ready to roll for this spring when that thaw eventually comes around. Don't forget to come out to the Grays Lake Farmer's Market Saturdays uh, starting April 5th from 10 to 2, Center and Whitney Street. And don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, comment, share, and all that other good stuff you can do here on uh, YouTube and Facebook. And I'll catch you guys at the Farmer's Market. Take care.